guys, it's Grunt, and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Nemesis keyboard. If you haven't already, subscribe with post notifications on so you never miss an upload. So click that bell, drop some likes if you enjoy today's unboxing. Here is this lovely design that shows off the keyboard on the front. On the sides, it has these little pieces of round tape. One of these have already come off, which is surprising. So first, we'll take off the pieces of round tape. Talks about having an aluminum design, anti-ghosting, USB plug and play. But as soon as I hear aluminum, I'm like, eh. Ah, the keyboard, oh, backwards. Or upside down, I mean. There's the keyboard. Ah, wonderful. So here you have the front of the keyboard. Looking pretty good. I find it kind of weird that it's got these holes. I'm not quite sure what these holes are for, guys. If you know, let me know in the comments. Taking a look on the bottom, we have two little legs that stick out, so that way you can click them into place and have your keyboard set up at an angle. Or if you want to lay it flat, you can lay it flat too. Now let's plug this bad boy in and see how it looks. So as you guys can see right here, this is my old keyboard. It's the one that came with the computer. All right, so now that we got this thing plugged in, you guys can see here, the keyboard is all nice and lit up. G-A-M-E-R-S-H-I-B-E-O-U-T. Oh. Oh, my. Look, another gamer side out. And another gamer side out. And then there's our gamer side out. Third one down. There you have it, guys. The lights look pretty darn good in there. You can see it glowing through the bottom a little bit right there, where the lighting extends out. And overall, guys, I think that this is a pretty good little keyboard. If you don't want to spend too much money, this one does not cost that much. If you guys want to get this keyboard, I'll leave a link in the description below. So check down here in the description. It should be a little arrow or whatever, depending on what device you're on. You guys click on that and you can see that it'll be top link. If you guys want to get this keyboard, you can. It's pretty cheap. And yeah, guys. So we got one more item to unwrap. In this little bag here, is the tripod I ordered from Wish. So it could be good, it could be terrible. Let's find out. So I ordered a little tripod from Wish and it was only a dollar because it was free, you just pay shipping. And it's stuck to the, the tape. So there's a top that's in here as well. There's the top. It looks like the top is a uh, one of those pieces that you put your phone on. So that's kind of helpful, I guess. It has an extra added bit. So here's the tripod itself. To show how small it really is, guys, you can tell in comparison to my desk and my mouse here. So this is the tripod. Not bad. It's not a real long unboxing review bit here, but the tripod and this little thing that comes in the bag. I don't really film too much with the phone, but when I do, I guess I have this thing if I want to use it. But I'm gonna put the camera on there, actually. Okay, guys, so you are, you guys are on the little tripod right now. This is so weird. It's actually really pretty stable. The tripod itself is pretty stable, guys. It's a, uh, it looks like it's bending a little bit, but I think that's just the way the tripod is because the legs are meant to bend like that. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the phone view so you guys can see what this looks like right quick. <laughs> but yeah guys, so this is, this is the tripod with the camera on top. It's from my phone so the quality isn't as great as it is from the camera. But hey, there's the tripod. It looks pretty good. I'll move it over here right quick down front so you guys can see it a little here but yeah pretty good for being just a dollar wow it's surprising that it's actually still light out right now guys so i am trying out the tripod right now for the first time so hopefully it doesn't go and explode in my face for using this thing so far it seems pretty stable 
but you know the camera isn't a phone so it's a little heavier if I ever upgrade I might upgrade it to a digital camera guys how does that sound let me know your thoughts in the comments let's get back to the video but yeah guys thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed this little unboxing slash review here. If you want to see more reviews like this, don't forget to click the subscribe button with the bell so you guys get notified when I upload and comment what you think I should um, uh, order and unbox next. I'm definitely considering getting a new computer because I'm going to need one if I'm going to continue to edit and stream for you guys because this one is um, uh, getting to the point to where it just can't do everything I need it to do anymore. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll definitely do some more unboxings. Let me know in the comments what you think I should get. If you got some neat little gadgets I could order and check out, I'll definitely do that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then.